Okay, let me do that again for you. So we record the theoretical and the experimental coefficients. We want the absolute value of experimental minus theoretical divided by the theoretical value. I got a different number that time. There you go. Oh, and then times 100. That's right. The, well, if you leave it as a decimal, then it's not times 100. If you want it like as a percentage, then multiply it by 100. assessment I want to see the way you guys have learned how to write up labs okay I'm not going to mark it for grades but I do want you to I want you to, I want to see what you've learned in grade 11 physics I want to see what shortcomings you have I want to see how well you can do a conclusion and some sources of error um, what I'm going to do is the same thing so what I'm going to do is write up what I would expect to see for a 100% mark on a lab and I'm going to save it and post it on our website as an exemplar that you can reference for all the other labs that we do in this course. Right? So your weekend homework is to do this, uh, is to incorporate the, um, you know, problem hypothesis, materials, procedure, apparatus into a lab report, um, well formatted, and I'm going, and don't forget, you, I, I, I'm not too picky, like, don't, Formatting issues from graphs from other programs are tricky, so the easiest way that I've found to get graphs from other programs is just to do a screenshot, right? You print screen and then paste it into Microsoft Word, and I'll, right away you've got a, and then you can crop it and make it look nice. Okay, you don't have to try and import files and things like that. Okay? So that's, you can use the rest of the time today to start working on that. So your homework.